Hello friends, this is your reading for December 2020. This is for the fire elements, okay? This will be for uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Again, this is for the month of December. Please remember to check your moon and rising because this reading isn't going to resonate with all of you. You can check your Venus also. You, guys, you can check your Mars. But the most important three are definitely the sun, moon, and rising. Okay, so we have the king of pentacles. Oh, I'm getting like some of you are looking for ways to break out of the hectic energies you've got going on into something else. I feel like some of you might actually be looking for work or, you know, a new career that makes the kind of money that you're making now or makes better money than you've made in the past. You've got a high priestess, okay? So the message here is to definitely listen to your higher self, connect to your higher self. Don't forget to breathe, okay? Because you need to mindset, you need to reset your your mind, you need to reset your um, your body, your nervous system here, guys. Uh, you've got good cards here. You're going to have a second wind coming in in December. It's going to be so much better than the rest of the year. I feel like you'll be clearer in your thinking. Um, even over this heartbreak that you've had in the past, I feel like it's something to do with the past. It could be, I mean, it could be current, okay? You've been hurt before. And I feel like you're just not going to let that happen to yourself again. Okay. But if it does happen, you know, don't beat yourself up about it. We've all kind of have experienced that. Yeah. I, I just feel like that you, you fire signs come into this energy of like a rebirth. Like you've dealt with some darkness in the past and now you're not willing to go that direction anymore. You're looking to have a clear head, a clear path, okay? Some, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio here, or it could be another earth sign. Uh, but I do sense, um, and that could, it doesn't necessarily be their sun, it could be their moon or rising. Uh, but I sense that, you know, you, you want to move forward, but you don't want to move forward. Because here's the seven of cups. You want to move forward, but you don't want to move forward. You're like, I'm afraid to choose because you're remembering the past pain. But, um, you know, when I look here, I, I would be the same way. Because whoever it is that you've loved that's hurt you so deeply has definitely not been faithful to you. Now, that's whether they're married or whether they're married and, and sleeping around or, you know, uh, you were committed to them and you caught them. Um, yeah, because you've got a lot of stress here, too. And it's not just about the relationship. It's also just about life, how things have been going, the stress that you've been under, uh, the things that you've had to think about. You know, trying to clear your head, really trying to clear your head, afraid to make any move because you don't want to make the, the same mistake over and over and over, that you're actually missing life. <laughs> you're missing a life. Everything in life has a risk to it. Uh, yes, you're right about thinking about not going back to someone who's hurt you. You're absolutely correct. Or moving forward into a relationship that you see similar patterns of your past. You're correct about that. Let me see. Let me move these cards up so that you can see them more. Um, you're correct about that. But you can't like totally sign yourself off of life. Because you're not living life then. You're just caught up, trapped in that energy of, um, you know where you were stuck previously you're just getting caught back up into that energy I, I don't know I feel like some some of you might decide to um, 
maybe go somewhere. Go somewhere. Maybe maybe there's somebody you met uh, that might li live a little distance with you, or you might decide to take a trip with someone. Uh, but, um, I mean, there's a lot of stress here. I, I'm just feeling stress, like, with you personally, with finances. Um, you know, you personally, like, oh, well, maybe I've gained some weight while I was, you know, during this lockdown or shutdown. And how, you know, how is anybody going to look at me now? And then, you know, because I'm feeling like there's a lot of personal transformation here. Physical, mental, and emotional. Also, to put the wheel, think, you know what? The wheel of life keeps turning. And here's the Ace of Pentacles. You should participate in that. You should participate in that instead of looking back all the time of the different suffering and pain that you've gone through. Let me just kind of move these for a minute. I'm going to use my pendulum too to read into this deeper. You know, there's there's a lot of a lot of you need to seek meditation or need to seek some type of stress relief uh, method here. Uh, but the page of wands tells me that you're going to get some freedom from this pain that you felt in the past. And what's going to help you with that freedom is I don't know. You maybe you're going to meditate more, or maybe you're going to take um, certain classes or do certain things that are spiritual uh, in in order to. Um, lift you up from uh, the same baggage that you feel like you've gone through over and over and over. You've got the death and rebirth card. And that's Scorpio too. You may use metaphysics or cult or, you know, again, spiritual stuff to really uh, move on. I'm, I'm going to ask you not to take revenge though. If you do take revenge, you're going to have a payback with that. It's not going to be worth it. But I think, you know, these experiences that you keep having keeps taking you to the crossroads because it wants you to wake up. It wants you to wake up. Seven of Cups also is what cup, what love card, what, not card, what love cup am I going to choose now and experience? But then you've got all this that you're still holding on to from the past. Okay, the death and rebirth, the transformation wants to happen. But you keep feeling like you're getting sucked into choosing what's bad rather than what's good. But really, that's your personal choice. You don't have to. And then here with the Ten of Wands, I just feel like, you know, that's your stress card. You're just ready to just pack it up and just go. <laughs> you're just ready to pack it up and go somewhere because you've like, I've had it. But here we've got the Two of Cups and... um. The Page of Cups, like this could be somebody you knew or somebody new um, that has an opportunity to happen again. And then the Five of Pentacles, uh, I mean, you could know somebody that's having financial problems or maybe you just feel stuck. Not necessarily is your bank account broke. This could also be about, yeah, you know what? I'm so tired of this job. I'm so stressed out about this job, this work, the same thing over and over and over. But I feel trapped. What am I going to do? What am I going to do about my money? You know, how, am I going to be able to find a job that I can make the same kind of money? What, you know, it, it's your poor thing. It's like, you know, some of you just going over and over and over with this. But the ace of, um, I mean, the wheel, uh, it gives you an opportunity to look at other things. But I think here with the Five of Pentacles, you just, I'm only looking at this. I'm only looking at this. But you're not. You have the opportunity to look at other things. And then with the Ace of Pentacles, it's telling me that there are new beginnings. Let me see what I've got here. There's new beginnings. we got the Two of Wands. With the Two of Wands here, you know, like, you could get this going. You just need to make the decision to get it going. Let me get one more card, Spirit. Ugh, lovers. Maybe some of you are hesitant. Do I want to go out with this person? Do I not want to go out with this person? Is this person going to like the way I look? I don't know why I'm feeling this with the fire signs, but maybe just like being stressed out or just being in lockdown or whatever. It's just maybe you don't feel so great about your image. But um, Yeah, see, the tower. There needs to be change. Change, I feel like it has to come within you. 
Fire signs, you're creators. You are creators. It begins within you. Well, it begins within all of us, but it begins within you. There's this change. All right, Spirit, tell me what the change is. Nine of Wands, the change is about stress. I mean, come on, you got to think about your health. You got to think about, you know, your attitude and, and your happiness. All of this, all of this. Oh, you got the sun card. If you do, if you change and not fear about the change, okay, and, and find something that brings you more peace uh, or, you know what, have a conversation with your boss or your partner, have a conversation with your lover, five of cups, that you can't take this anymore. Uh, either there's a change that happens or, you know, dot, 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 that's your decision or... You're going to come out peaceful with this, though. Even if you stay with what you have, you're going to break that chain of that repetitive stress and aggravation and fear. But you're going to definitely have peace. Okay, what's my two bottom cards here? Well, you've got the Eight of Cups, and we've got the Four of Pentacles. Actually, let me take this other third card. These are the two cards that come before the Eight of Cups. You've got the Eight of Swords, you're trapped, you feel trapped, but you're not really trapped, but you feel trapped. If we turn this over, you find your way out, but right now it's upright and you feel trapped, but here, um, that was the third card from the bottom. This is the second card of the bottom, the Four of Pentacles. Here the Four of Pentacles is saying, no, I'm just going to hold on, I'm, I'm just going to hold on, uh, which is fine, but your final decision is even if you stay where you're at, you're not going to be dealing with the same energies that you've been going through. No way. The Eight of Cups, you're walking away from it. You're either going to walk away from this person or this job or the family um, or you're going to settle with what you have, but you're not going to deal with it with the same. Also, too, the message coming in is some of you who are dealing with some difficult partners in business or difficult uh, employees or bosses or whatever you want to call them, uh, I feel like they may actually walk away or they may be dismissed from the job. Okay, so that's another way of looking at this. That message came in. Uh, okay, so there we go. Anyways, I wish you a great uh, December. Uh, I hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. I did forget to wish everybody a uh, Merry Christmas, so you know what? <laughs> or Happy Hanukkah. Maybe I'll just do a mid-monthly and get that in there, huh? Anyways, I'm glad to connect with all of you and stay safe. Lots of love and blessings.